All right, great folks, welcome. This is the um, first video on sequences and series from question papers. I'm working through um, in this paper through the November 2015 questions on sequences and series. And I'll post videos of um, 2015, 16, 17 and 18 question papers. Um, I hope um, a lot of you are gaining a lot of um, insight and help through these videos. Um, during the time of lockdown in South Africa now and um, please please also like the channel and so you can be notified of, of other videos I post throughout the lockdown and share the, the links with friends that you have that's also in grade 12 um, I'm trying to assist um, as much as I can right so let's look at question um, 2 and 3 from the November 2015 paper um, this is now sequences and series. So I have question two. The following geometric sequence is given. 10, 5, 2.5, 1.25. So geometric means um, it has a constant ratio. So if I take term two over term one, which is five over 10, half should be the same as term three over term two, two, uh, 2.5 over five, which is also half. And you can check the R value. Calculate the value of the fifth term, so I multiply by half the R um, constant. So you can do um, one of two things. I notice the R value is a half. Um, so I can just, this is term 1, 2, 3, 4, term 5 is going to be 1,25 times a half. Let me just clear my calculator there quickly. Um, <coughs> 1,25 times of the fourth term just multiply with the constant ratio to continue the pattern which is 5 over 8 which means term 5 is 5 over 8 um, just generate it manually like that or alternatively you can use the formula Tn is for geometric A or N minus 1 so term 5 is going to be the first term here is 10 the constant ratio is a half and 5 minus 1 and substitute that it will also give you 5 over 8 um, that's 2.1 2.2 determine the nth term in terms of n determine the nth term the general term basically so my general term is tn is a which is 10 or to the power of n minus 1 and you can leave it like that I just want you to um, also see how it can be simplified further sometimes they ask it in a specific format um, so just to show you what I can do with this you can leave it like that but I want to continue um, I can make this 1 over 2 I can make it to 2 by putting a negative in front there and then I have that and I can break up the 10 in 2 times 5 times then 2 to the power of negative n and 2 to the power of plus 1 and then this is 5 times 2 to the power of there's my number 1 and I add the exponent so I have 1 plus 1 2 minus n and this is just a different format of writing the same thing okay just to show you um, play around a bit with that a little bit question 2.3 explain um, why the infinite series 10 plus 5 plus da 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 converges for converging series um, that's that sum to infinity thing let me quickly see if I can get the um, information sheet here um, for converging series the sum to infinity of converging series the R must lie between minus 1 and 1 so you can simply just state here actually that the R, which is a half, a half does lie between um, negative 1 and 1. So that's why it converges. Um, 2.4, determine the sum to infinity minus the sum of n terms in the form ab to the power of n, where sn is the sum of the first n terms of the sequence. So I want to determine s infinity minus sn. Right, so... Um, s infinity minus sn is going to be s infinity is a over 1 minus r um, this formula is on your formula sheet and sn is a r to the power of n minus 1 over 
or minus one. Um, I just want to double check that I have these formulas correct. It's been a while since I've worked with them. Okay. Um, while I'm busy here now, I see that this one minus r and this r minus one. So you can sum up so that the um, denominators are the same, swap this one around and just change the sign in front. Or um, this formula has another version that um, looks like that. A one minus r to the power of n over one minus r. If you swap both those, it's fine. Or you can just swap this one and then change the sign in front, just so that my denominators are the same. Um, my a here in this question is 10, my r is a half, minus my a is 10, I want to, um, r is a half, I want to leave the n there, and that's then 1 minus a half. Okay, so 10 over 1 minus a half, um, you can use your calculator, but 1 minus a half is a half, so this is 10 divided by a half, or 10 times 2, is going to be 20, and also the 10 1 minus half is also 20, same as there. So this is 20 times 1 minus a half to the power of n. I'm so I'm going to make 2 to the power of negative n just to get rid of the ugly fractions here, and then um, I have 20 minus 20, and minus 20 times minus is going to be plus, but you can't multiply the 20 with the 2 because the 2 is part of an exponent, it's a base. So I'm going to make this plus 20 times 2 to the power of negative n. 20 minus 20 is 0, this is 20 times 2 to the power of negative n. Um, the question says, in the form ab to the power of n, so ab to the power of n, or to strictly not have the negative n there, you can just go back to a half to ab to the power of n like that. Alright, so that is question 2, that was not too hard, let's look at question 3. Okay, question 3, consider the series. Minus 3 plus 5 plus 13 plus 21 to n terms. Determine the general term of the series in the form tk is bk plus c. Um, they changed the normal n to a k, which I suppose is because they want to um, have me write it in sigma. Um, that's the reason, but it's not a problem. You can just, where you normally have an n, just write k. Okay, so this already gives away, because it's a linear equation, that it's an arithmetic pattern. But if you look at this, you can also see it goes plus 8, plus 8, plus 8. <coughs> so this is an arithmetic pattern with the d is 8. 5 term 2 minus term 1, 5 minus negative 3 is 8. 13 minus 5 is 8. And the first term, negative 3, arithmetic pattern. So my general pattern, tk, not tn, is going to be a plus k minus 1d, um, the a is negative 3, plus k minus 1, and the d is 8, and I'm just going to multiply this in, so I have minus 3, k times 8 is 8k, minus 1 times 8, minus 8, and then I have 8k minus 3, and minus 8 is minus 11, okay, 8k minus 11, um, so in the form bk plus c, there it is. Okay, 8k minus 11, you can just close that, right? Okay, 3.2, write sn in sigma notation. Write sn in sigma notation. Now, 2n terms means a 1 from term 1 in sigma notation, from where k is 1, from term 1 to the nth term. And since I'm working with n terms, that's why they wanted me to make this a k, so that I don't have n goes from 1 to n. Um, I have k goes from 1 to n, and then my general formula just comes here, 8k minus 11. There's my sigma notation, that's quite easy. 3.3, um, show that sn, show that sn is 4n squared minus 7n. Okay, the sum formula for an arithmetic pattern, n over 2, 2a plus n minus 1d, 
um, is going to be I want to leave the M like that and I substitute my A which is negative 3 and my D which is 8 and then simplify this so I have N over 2 is negative 6 plus 8N minus 8 and then I just add the like terms there so I have minus 6 and minus 8 which is minus 14 and then if I multiply this in um, the over 2 is going to divide so 1 over 2 times 8 is 4 so that's 4n squared and um, the over 2 times 14 is 7 and that n 7 4n squared minus 7n which is what I want to come to great and then question 3.4 problem solving question another sequence is defined by um, this is now Q um, which is already weird but it's the same as term 1, term 2 I just made it to Q minus 6 then minus 6 minus 3 minus 6 minus 3 plus 5 um, so there I generate the patterns write down a numerical expression for 6 so they just want me to expand this to the next term Q6 um, let's look at what is happening here so I have minus 6 from minus 6 to minus 3 um, I'm first going to consider arithmetic so I plus 3 then this is um, let's look at the bottom one minus 6 minus 3 plus 5 plus 13 so this is plus 3 plus 2 plus 8 um, plus 8 plus 8 plus 8 mm. wow okay so it's weird it's plus 3 oh that's plus 8 sorry it's plus 3 then plus 8 plus 8 plus 8 so the first one is is weird but the, the rest is a number pattern from minus 3 it's a pattern that goes plus 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8 so um, the sixth term is going to be the minus 6 minus 3 plus 5 plus 13 plus 21 plus 8 is plus 29 there's my numerical expression I see the minus 6 which is uh, like an odd one out but then from there it goes plus 8 plus 8 plus 8 so I can just extend this with another one to have um, my, my sixth term and now the 3.4.2 says calculate the value of term 129 now I must actually develop something here so if I look at this pattern the first term is minus 6 right which let's just quickly ignore the minus 6 so um, the second term is minus 3 which is the first term of this pattern then the third term is the first term and the second term if I just look at the plus 8 plus 8 part of the pattern this is basically the first term the first two terms the first three terms the first four terms and they are added so it's a sum right um, so every single term is the sum of the second term in this pattern is the sum of one term for plus the minus 6 the third term is the sum of two terms and the minus 6 the fourth term is the sum of three terms and the minus 6 the fifth term is the sum of four terms and the minus 6 do you notice the pattern um, every single term is generated by this pattern starting from minus 3 plus 5 plus 13 plus 21 it's that pattern there actually um, but it's the sum of one less than the term is term 2 is one term term 3 is two terms term um, 4 is three terms 5 is four terms so term 129 is going to be the sum of 128 terms and the minus 6 right of the pattern starting the, the pattern that we had there above so um, I have actually the formula for the sum is 4 n squared minus 7 n the sum of 128 terms is going to be 4 n squared minus 7 n and then there's that 
first uh, minus 6 and then you can substitute this in your calculator to get the answer um, problem solving question so it is a bit weird so I just want to share something else that one of my learners in my class actually did 64634 okay um, also to solve this which is another method and it works Okay, so somebody else said this minus 6 is minus 6, then the next term is minus 6 minus 3, which is then minus 9, the second term. Then the next term is minus 6 minus 3 plus 5, so minus 9 plus 5, which is negative 4, and then um, plus 13 is the next term, so that's 9. And then plus 21, so that's 30. So it generated the actual values of the term 1, term 2, term 3, term 4, term 5. And then if you evaluate this, uh, minus 9 subtract the negative 6. Term 2 minus term 1 is negative 3. Term 3 minus term 2 is 5. Then 9 minus negative 4 is 13, and then 30 minus 9 is 21. And then if I look at this, this is 8, 13 minus 5 is 8, 21 minus 13 is 8. And this forms a quadratic pattern. So I want the... Um, 129th term of this quadratic pattern which that is also fine and it works perfectly well so um, you know you can get the quadratic pattern formula 2a is 8 3a plus b is negative 3 a plus b plus c is negative 6 and then you work out the general term of the quadratic pattern and you just calculate term 129 of the quadratic pattern it gives you the sign on so that's perfectly fine okay so that is the um, number pattern questions from November 2015